Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your mid-June reading. Thank you so much for waiting for me to be off of vacation. Um, and we are still in the retrograde energy, but it's the shadow period, so we're almost done. June 18th is the last day. Uh, we're so close. Um, and it looks like Father's Day is on the 19th, so we won't be dealing with any retrograde energies at that time. Thank goodness. It was done on June 3rd, but it, we were still in the shadow period, so you should be feeling better already, to be honest. Anyway, we're going to look in the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Virgo Collective. This is a general reading and will not resonate with every single person. Uh, you, you know, what you can do is you can always reverse the energies. If that sounds like your person, you can reverse the roles and assign them as you please. Uh, you can always look into your sun, moon, and rising signs. You can get a personal reading from me. The, the details in the description box down below. Uh, just also remember these messages are timeless. Even though I'm reading for June, mid-June, it may not be playing out for you just yet. But if you're brought to this channel and this reading, there's something in it for you. So just kind of stick around um, and take the things that resonate with you and the things that don't just leave them behind. It's that simple. It's just that we're, we're dealing with lots of people and lots of energy. And when, when it feels right to you, that is your message. Okay. Um, everything else, if it doesn't feel right, just go, that's not for me. All right. At the end of this video, we're going to give you, I'll give you um, some suggested videos. And if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's check this out. Move these. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, and three. All right, so Virgo, let's start with the overall energy to see what's going on here today. So we have Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. We have the timing is right, and it's right for your abundance, looking for your happiness, looking for, so here we go right there. So we have the Knight of Swords, which is lots of mental clarity, good intellectual power, a lot of authority over your thoughts, and your logic swords are always logical thing, logical thinking in your mind. We have the angel card, which is temperance, which is balance. It's also um, uh, things in moderation, purpose, and the timing is right. And then you also have your abundance card right there. Okay, so there it is right there. She's awesome. She's money abundant. She's a lot of happiness. She's just like, even though she's only the nine of pentacles, she's probably one of the best cards in my opinion, because this is like luxury, self-sufficiency, financial independence. It's such a great card to have. So Virgo, where are you? You are actually at the 10 of swords, which you are done, done, done. So the next thing after a 10 is a new beginning. So you've had enough. You are done, done, done with whatever this is. And it's probably the retrograde that you're done, done, done with whatever you were learning in the retrograde. It's time to move forward. The um, thing that's moving towards you right now is the seven of wands, which is, um, you might feel like giving up. So once you're done, it's kind of like there's a feeling of giving up. And then because it was so much, there might be a tiny bit of uh, lack of confidence going on because maybe you just dealt with a whole bunch of stuff. There's a lot of you need to heal fully before you move into the next uh, part of this, okay? So it's gonna be like the, the painful ending is over and then it's like there's a period of healing from it and learning from it and processing it and then you can move on. And, and through that processing, it might be feel overwhelmed. You might feel like a lack of confidence, like maybe you didn't do something right and you just kind of want to give up completely on that energy. And, and that's the process that we go through. So that's fine. Just kind of move through it. Let it be. The thing that you can't, uh, that's hidden that you can't see um, is there's some secrets. There's some disconnection from your intuition. There's some withdrawal and some silence. And that's not always a bad thing, especially if you need to process whatever just happened to you. Um, so, so if some big thing happened to you, uh, and then, you know, you, you, you might finally be, so what I'm seeing from some of you guys, you might finally be home. And now that you're home, you can process everything that happened in your own time, in your own way, in your own silence. Okay. The thing that's hidden that you can't see is there's, uh, th what you're dealing with is, you trapping yourself in your own mind. So swords are always the mind. We have the uh, the 
blindfold on, but nobody's really trapping this person. She can definitely get out of this just by walking out of the swords, okay? So this is like self-imposed restrictions, victim mentality, those types of things. When you've dealt with what you just dealt with, it's very, very common for someone to flip into uh, a woe is me, why does this always happen to me um, type of attitude. I, I really feel like in your reading, it feels very strong to me that this is a process of healing, a process of moving through whatever happened in the retrograde, whatever you had to deal with. Just move through the energy. You'll be okay. The... Um, the thing that's supporting you is uh, there's a lot of financial independence here for you. Uh, you're you're working on your self care, and there, the, whatever you see is conflicting with your work and home situation, is is something that you need to see. Uh, so when we are dealt with discourse or or something that. Um, uh, you can see two complete opposites from it. So work situation, home situation. Maybe something's conflicting with those things. Maybe, and not, this isn't for everybody, but maybe some of you guys are even thinking about switching jobs because it's infl it's kind of um, uh, interfering with your home life. It's something like that, okay? But that is actually a positive thing because if you can see it, then you can change it, okay? So, and um, yeah, you can stop it from getting any worse, uh, you know, okay. So the action to take is just keep moving forward. Keep searching for those personal closures. Um, don't take any shortcuts or delays. Uh, remember, this is about completion. There's even some travel in there for you guys. So some of you guys that want to travel, that would be a good thing for you. We're out of the retrograde, so travel on. Um, just uh, have to pay a lot more at the pump if you're using your car. <laughs> but anyway, we're all paying more for everything, right? And the overall outcome is the King of Cups. Um, that is good because that is emotion, having control over your emotions and balance, balancing out your love, your emotions, how you feel, your relationships, all of those things. The King of Cups doesn't give all of his love. He gives like half of the love. And so um, this is just, it's, it's how you feel that you need to do. So when you move forward through the energy and you feel like um, you only want to give half, don't feel bad about that. That's you controlling your emotions. It's you controlling and, and giving the love to you first instead of to other people because you need it right now. You need all of your love. You don't need to be showering anybody else with love right now because you need it, okay? Um, how you're feeling in your mind is now that you, you know, you're, you're able to see the bigger picture. You're able to kind of look into that ball and, and figure out what the future is. You're, you're able to, uh, your eyes are open, eyes wide open, right? You can see things. Um, and that, that is a good thing because you're in your logic, but you're also working with your, your desires. You're working with your higher self. You're working with your soul purpose. All of those things were, were what was born out of the retrograde energy that you healed, you healed something. And then in your mind, you're like, okay, I got this because this is right in line with what my soul purpose is. This is right in line with the bigger picture, uh, those types of things. Okay. Your intuition is coming in super strong and super fast. Uh, your intuition is giving you unexpected truths, sudden truths constantly. It's like you're just seeing the truth all over the place. And um, that is giving you more drive and making you stronger within yourself because it might bring a little bit of stress in your intuition because it's just you feel like there's so much truth coming out. All right, and so um, how you're feeling is... Uh, okay, so this has to do with your self-esteem. It's upside down. Um, you might be feeling like creative blocks or you're dependent on other people right now. Virgos don't really like to be dependent on people. They like to take care of people, not be dependent on people. So that can be causing a little bit of frustration at this time as well. Um, I didn't pull your themes. Let's pull those out. There's just, um, for you, Virgo, I feel there's a lot of healing happening. Um, there's a lot of eye-opening experiences, and because of those experiences, you're healing from it. That's kind of what I see. And the experience doesn't necessarily have to be a mental experience. It could be like a physical experience that happened to you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to physically heal from this. Some of you guys are physically healing. 
Okay, so we have, yep, we're really working on that self-esteem self and bringing in some discipline. So that, that's your theme right now. And we had that right here, see? That just double checks that the self-esteem is kind of the issue and the discipline was somewhere, I can't remember. Anyway, I talked about it earlier. So uh, Virgo, if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's get a advice card. My bad. And then I'll close out this reading right after that. I just want to get some advice because there's just so much healing energy happening and being around you right now. So let's kind of see what, what we need to do. Okay. Um, make time for your self-love. That's why it keeps coming up multiple times, right? Go deeper this time when you're healing, like emotionally healing about stuff. Don't just like glaze over it. Go deeper. That when generally when I go deeper, I do a lot of writing. Okay, so think about that. And then step into your power. So you're gonna be really powerful after this lesson or whatever you're dealing with right now. Uh, that's gonna create a, a level up. You're gonna level up in your power, and that's gonna be great. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for coming. And on the screen is some suggested videos. If don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you to all the people who do, and I will see you later. Bye.